I'm going to check out of Antigua and on my way to St. Martin. When you get to a new country, there are a lot of things you don't know, like where to bring the trash. Do you have to pay to bring away the trash? So I'm going to bring away the last trash bag I have before leaving. This morning I cleaned the hull of the boat because my bottom paint is really bad. So I have to clean it about every week and I always do it before a long trip. So. A fresh water shower sounds really good to me right now. One of the highlights of Jolly Harbor, fresh hot water shower. Mm. Now that's a good start of today. In order to check out, I need to go with the dinghy or the boat to the customs. So let's do that now and let's see what time they're open. It's 7.15 right now. Should open between 7.30 and 8, I think. This is the restaurant bar area of Jolly Harbor, the main marina. Back at my beautiful dinghy. Let's go to customs. Customs is still closed. It is the end of April, 2023 but you still have to wear a face mask here. It was pretty easy and straightforward. It took about 20 minutes. Let's go to the boat. Let's go. This is the route from Antigua, 97 miles to St. Martin. All right, let's go. It should be between 13 and 17 knots of wind, pretty much downwind. It should be a good trip. I'm doing about four, four and a half knots. That's good enough. After last week's video, you might be wondering, how am I doing? Well, I've just decided to just really keep going. I fixed the boat when it needed to be fixed. I made it ready and I finished the video yesterday afternoon. This morning I checked out and I'm going to St. Martin. I should probably sit still for a couple of days, but uh, I prefer to just keep going for now. I'm going to St. Martin, I have some friends there. Just gonna prepare for the night. Just a warmer jacket, that should be good enough for tonight. No rain is predicted. Sunset, it's almost dark. I know that you guys are used to a little bit of drama for me because last year everything always went wrong, but I have made a lot of mistakes, a lot of live lessons and um, it's a boat things always go wrong on a boat 
but I am making wiser choices. It's a lovely weather window, no rain forecasted, hasn't been any rain. I've done 35 miles, I have 65 more to go. We're going in the night now, I'm going to stay awake. Uh, if I do one overnight, I don't sleep. So, yeah, pretty good so far. guys might know adventure man Dan is another youtuber he's here and we're gonna have lunch together now I also have another question for you guys I've been doing this lifestyle for quite some time now is there something specific that you'd like to know or that you'd like me to talk about That's a lot of dinghies out here. I'm eating at a bakery. Let's go find it. Found it. Smile, you're on camera. Yeah, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? One of the good things about these islands is the quality of life, right? How is oh it? God. Good? It's everything you could want it to be. It's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna stuff my face for this on camera. It's so good. It looks as good as it tastes, that's it. But I know for a fact this looks really good, but it's actually way better than that. Anchorage on the outside of St. Martin. Dan is in a lagoon over there. I'm gonna relocate the boat there. To get there, I have to go through a bridge that only opens twice a day at 8 30 in the morning and at 5 p.m. And then after that, there's a lot of shallow spots and there are a lot of wrecks. So it's gonna be interesting. Stuck around something as motor forward, see if that helps. Seems like I have to go for a swim. Okay, I finally got it loose. We now have like five minutes to get to the bridge. So uh, <laughs> let's quickly put on my shirt and see if we can still make it. <laughs> it's 8.30 now. I got a half a mile to go. I'm sure they're like open and are closed five minutes later, you know. I'm sure it'll be fine. I hope, uh, otherwise I'll just go back and do it later. Uh, 
Okay, perfect. I see boats coming in this direction and I still see boats waiting to go there, so good. I'm the last one in line. Made it. One of the obstacle course is completed. Nice. I'm gonna slow down now. Don't have to rush anymore. And uh, gonna do obstacle course part two. Foghorn, let's give it a try. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm going over to him for a coffee. I bet he's gonna be jealous of my dinghy. I know it isn't much, but you know, Lisa's got a 10 horsepower. He only has a few subscribers. He probably has no money at all. What? Is this your dinghy? You got a 15 horsepower brand new dinghy? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? What am I doing wrong? He doesn't like my dinghy. I mean, it's... It has character. <laughs> it's not good character. <laughs> Don't offend my dinghy. You know what? It has something my dinghy does not. Character. No one's gonna steal your dinghy. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> uh, let me... Let me... I got a nice bed over here. It's not bad. Yeah, no, this is... Uh... You're standing on one little innovation that I did, the swim platform, and then this here is a major innovation to the boat. And my dive locker here, and then a freezer below that. And if I want to, I can just take these up and put them there. A freezer? Yeah. Or ice cubes? Well, no, no, I don't ever do ice cubes, actually. I just freeze, you know, like meat, fish, things like that. So yeah, it's pretty good. Come on, check it all out. Ah, we got some space over here. Yeah. I think I'm officially jealous. Yeah, I was kind of, when I saw your boat this morning, I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but hey, man, you're doing it. You, you know, you're, you're doing it, and... Are you sure you're a YouTuber? Yeah, right. <laughs> this is what happens when you, when you eat sprouts. Hold on. Multivitamin, water from your water maker, which is sort of free after you get the water maker, and everything out of the ocean. That's it, that's all you need. You save way more money, and you don't drink alcohol or do drugs. That's it. You don't even drink coffee, so I don't. Yeah, I brought my own coffee because I figured you probably don't have any. <laughs> All right, so you got a. You sleep in front? No, actually, I usually sleep in the back. Uh, I like in the, the back? bed a little bit better. In the, in the Zebra? Yeah. Well, uh, no, it's, just, it's a full aft cabin. Um, I put a lot of stuff back there, but it comfortably sleeps two people. Your toilet's here. Yeah. And you actually have a desk for your computer, that's awesome. It's a, it's a full on nice. editing station. That was really fun. It was really fun to meet another content creator. And we've been talking about maybe doing some things together in the next videos. What I'm gonna do right now, you are never ever gonna guess it because it's never happened before. I'm gonna do some boat jobs. I have a whole list of things that need to be done. Let's do the first two. This thing here is called a main sheet plunger. And if you look at the back, you can see here, this came out a little bit. And here the aluminum seems to be a little damaged. The main sheet is holding the main sail in place. And what exactly will happen when the part breaks, 
I'm not entirely sure, but for sure I know it's going to be a very unpleasant and uh, potentially dangerous situation because suddenly nothing is holding the boom anymore so you have to somehow strap it down and get the seal down so seems like a wise decision to get this fixed the second thing I need is for whatever reason two of these sliders are missing on the seal so I don't know if they still make them in the same size but got to try to find two new ones I've seen one store here that sells second-hand parts we're gonna try there first because I've looked for this in other marine stores before and I couldn't find it and if they had something similar it was a different size Apparently he's the only one that has second-hand stuff on the island. I have tried. I've looked in every box and there is a lot of stuff from similar age boat as mine. Exactly the same stuff as I have on my boat. Just not the parts that I'm looking for. Let's go to Island Water World, a really big marine store and let's check if we can find something there. Let's see if they got something. Well, they have a lot, that's for sure. For 45 bucks, I found this Barton 25 millimeter eye slide. It looks like it might fit. Let's try it out. Oh, and uh, a slide for the sail they did not have. I'm just gonna find some sail makers. They'll probably have something like this lying around. I'm so happy. Look at that. It fits perfect. While I took the original part off, this little wheel broke off. So I think it was a good time to replace it. I'm having a lot of issues with my, uh, with small, with these kind of aluminum parts, also with pop rivets. I'm guessing that, I'm guessing they've never been replaced before. So I guess 50 years is the turning point for these things yeah this was uh you know boat life is all about uh prevention that's what i did nice i'll see you next time guys <laughs>